Hi there, thanks for joining me, astrologer Patrick Arundel, for your astrological overview for week commencing the 13th of July. This week is going to be one of the most powerful weeks of the whole year. It really is quite incredible, the amount of very forceful influences that are swirling around the heavens. But actually, it starts with quite a sweet one on the first couple of days, as Mercury continues to forge a lovely angle to Neptune. Any kind of creative uh, strand to your situation is very well worth following up. And you, if you do have a love of creativity or the arts or film and so on, this can be a great week to really indulge your passion in this area. But then things get a lot more serious. The two ruling planets of Scorpio are Mars and Pluto. Mars, of course, is quite forceful and Pluto is very much to do with evolution transformation while well, the two of them are on the other side of the heavens both are in cardinal signs both are leader locations if you like in terms of mars being in cancer where it's defensive and pluto's in capricorn where it's very repressive and likes things to stay as they are and really looks towards more conservative values so the two can really frustrate each other because mars is about instant gratification and pluto is the higher force which decides when all and everything in life will occur. It may seem a little bit uh, far-fetched and rather too philosophical, but believe me, there's a lot of truth in that. So, these two are in conflict, but also later in the week, Mercury goes face-to-face -face with Pluto too. Now, this points towards people who can be very dogmatic, very uh, driven to punch across their ideas, but not listen to what other people have to say. And this can lead to a lot of intransigent energy. Mars and Pluto suggest that we should steer clear of anywhere where there tends to be a high crime rate or people tend to be a bit dodgy in terms of their personal values. Just be conscious of who you're dealing with, who you're buying and selling off. Your own personal values also come under the astral microscope. And if there is something that you really feel strongly about, just check out with yourself carefully. Is it really worth invest in a lot of energy in a big argument with someone. Only you could really say. There's also a square this week, right through to Thursday, between the Sun and also Uranus. If you think about it, the Sun in Cancer is very, very traditional. This is about governance. It's about uh, marshalling resources. It's about putting the foundation stones of life first. Uranus in Aries is completely random. It's very, very radical. And that's why we've had such a s seismic shift in the geopolitical landscape over the last four years. So these two are on uh, tricky terms. So that points towards the need for Uranus to change things or rebel against the orthodox. And cancer can be very orthodox. So just be aware of that, especially on the back of the new moon on Thursday in Cancer, which can be very good, but it too is right angling to Uranus. So there's that need to break free of cloying demands and do what's expected for some people, or for those people who are very much ones for taking responsibility and leading life in perhaps a more conformist way, resenting the more freedom-loving side that some other people bring to situations. However, all through this week, Venus does continue to clash with Saturn. This is one of those aspects which can bring weak relationships completely to an end. It doesn't matter if it's business, personal, friendships. If they're weak and they're not working and there's something that's not really knitting together very well, they can really, really creak. So you need to be conscious of this. But if something or someone leads your world this week, remember, it's because it's meant to be. And Venus can also represent money and Saturn commerce, so there could be an issue there around Venus in Leo is very much about being proud, wanting a lot of recognition. Saturn in Scorpio is very much about you'll get what you want. It's deep, it's a bit passionate, it's right in there. So there is a little bit of that going on for sure. But right at the end of this week, Venus makes its way into, into Virgo where it's very sweet, it's not very sexual, it's very much about doing the right thing, about purity around relationships, being of service if you like, but it is going to go into a retrograde, and I'm going to tell you about that next week, because it's particularly significant. But for now, thank you for joining me, good luck, and goodbye.